Hello and welcome Pisces to your September 16th lunar eclipse uh, reading for uh, um, using the um, Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. This is going to be a very powerful reading because this solar this lunar eclipse, excuse me, is in your sign. So what messages does Neptune or Jupiter have for the sign of Pisces? Lunar eclipse, September 16th, 2016, please. Super secret hidden meaning for the sign of Pisces is the Ace of Coins. So, a lot of wishes fulfilled here. Ace of Coins is specifically joy and happiness on a, a more um, and fulfillment. Um, basically, all good things will be coming to you, Pisces. This is a, a lack of want. So perfection, attainment, prosperity, felicity, bliss, gold, valuable coins or artifacts, treasures, the combination of material and spiritual riches. So not just wealth, but also the spirituality to put that wealth to great best practice. So in your current position, you are the Ten of Coins. You have family and money behind you. Ten of Coins speaks of riches, safety, family matters, ancestry, inheritance, and home. You are well set, Pisces. Crossing you as an influence is the High Priestess. The High Priestess speaks of matrilineal energies. She is Saint Olga, equal to the Apostles. Grand Duchess of Kiev was the first in Russia to accept the Eastern Orthodox faith from the Byzantines in 957. The three-barred Russian cross adorns her chest and she blesses with her right hand and holds a scroll in her left hand. The lion that supports the throne symbolizes the paganism of the tribes of ancient Russia. The red cloth emphasizes coming changes. In 30 years, Olga's grandson, St. Duke Vladimir, will have bar baptized all Russian people, helping to unify the Slavic tribes. She stands for wisdom, sound judgment, common sense, serenity, objectivity, penetration, foresight, intuition, perception, self-reliance, emotionlessness, and platonic relationships. So this, this may be a time of maturation for you, Pisces, sobering effect. Um, however, it is also a time of um, great intuition of, of truly um, being able to be a, a positive, strong, upstanding force within your family uh, or to, to your family group. So above you right now is the emperor in your headspace. You are concerned with a male 
in your immediate vicinity. You are also concerned with authority figures in your immediate vicinity. This speaks of the Emperor's throne is carved with the image of St. George. Onion domes characteristic of Russia are in the background. Worldly power, confidence, wealth, stability, authority, indomitable spirit, war-making tendencies, father, brother, husband, male influence, domination of intelligence and reason over emotion and passion, patriarchal figure. Right now you are dealing with um, difficulties if you are a male surrounding other males in your family, perhaps yourself. If you are a female, this is surrounding a male in your immediate vicinity um, who you are concerned about and at this point you cannot let your true emotions be known. You have to be a rock for that person during this time in your distant past you have the Hierophant your distant past the Hierophant resembles Saint Duke Vladimir he holds a scepter and a Russian Orthodox cross he means ritualism, mercy, kindness, forgiveness, inspiration, compassion, servitude, inactivity, timidity a captivity to one's own ideas, tendency to cling to outdated ideas and principles, conformity, a religious or a spiritual leader. So in your past people viewed you well, you had a positive reputation in your past, um, but things have changed, things have moved on. Um, you were perhaps stuck at a standstill, someplace you could not uh, blossom, and that has since changed. You have, you were a person who everyone came to with their problems, and you were expected to dole out advice, um, but you were not rewarded for said advice, and you felt stuck in your life. You had a, a tendency to cling, have to cling to old ideas um, and do things the old way in the distant past. In the recent past, you had the devil. You felt chained or trapped by something or someone in your immediate vicinity. You, you couldn't um, do really what you wanted to do. Um, the, de the devil's face resembles Joseph Stalin, who ruled the USSR for 30 years. His powerful body symbolizes the intensity of his power. Tattoos represent the power's criminal nature. The bat wing symbolizes its extent. The martial star above him is the symbol of his victories. The horns show the devilish cunning with which he holds his winnings. The two eyes on his chest are the vigilance of the secret police. The devil's chains trap a man and a woman deprived of civil rights. He means ravage, bondage, malevolence, subservience, downfall, weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, black magic, unexpected failure, inability to realize goals, violence, shock, fatality, self-punishment, a temptation to evil, and self-destruction. So things went massively awry in a way that you did not expect and you had to be subject to a bunch of stuff um, that you didn't want to be a part of and then in the end you had to make a decision between um, being subservient and dealing with uh, a lot of bad influence, black magic around you um, just uh, negative stuff happening for no reason or you had another option which was possible self-punishment or self-denial uh, um, uh, in, in some ways. So you, you've really been through the ringer in the recent past, some stuff that you were expecting to happen, it didn't come through at all the way it was expected to. So in the future, plans, hopes, and goals 
Three of Clubs as a future influence. And the Three of Clubs is about going beyond just having a choice. You now have options. So, practical knowledge, business acumen, enterprise, negotiations, trade, and commerce. You're about to enter in a new phase of your life, Pisces. You are moving towards um, gaining some skills and starting a new business, new enterprise, and working out some negotiations um, for uh, legal stuff, uh, starting a business, filing a business license, signing for a house, um, uh, just going in a new direction. Three of Clubs, practical knowledge. Um, you've reached a certain level of skill in your ability to negotiate and you now have something to negotiate or, or buy with all of a sudden. So, in your, um, okay, your influence on others, their influence on you, your present position or attitude within the circumstances, um, you are going through a very rough time, Five of Cups. Your in the midst of a great deal of sadness or around someone who is experiencing a tremendous amount of sadness and you're having to deal with it. This is about partial loss, regret, friendship without real meaning, marriage without real love, inheritance or an incomplete union or partnership. So possibly this is about something you were expecting to happen it didn't come through all the way quite yet um, you're feeling like you're having to be there for somebody emotionally a great deal right now and they are not able to return the favor you basically are in a position where um, you're you're having to deal with a lot of sadness or mourning in your in environment right now so above you in your environment you also have the five of coins and this speaks to you um, like an incredibly impoverished um, couple like a young couple who's living with one cup between them and a horrible apartment that costs too much money or something like that you know just trying to get on their feet so this speaks of destitution loss failure error mistress or lover the five of coins is about destitution it it's your influence on others and your position in life and the tendencies and factors which with respect to other people which have an influence upon you um, and so it's more than environment it's it's how other people are doing and right now, um, there is some form of interruption for you in your personal life because um, the person that is that that you're helping or being with, they're incredibly sad. They're incredibly depressed. They're having a very hard time right now. Um, and and things are, are just coming together that way. So you're going through that with them. In your inner emotions, you're 
your hopes, hidden emotions, secret desires, fears, anxieties. These are also thoughts that will come to mind in the future, which is Wheel of Fortune, and this speaks highly to destiny. Questions of Akashic Records of Fate. Um, this is about the, the four Gospels coming around the the uh, wheel of hermetic symbols, and you have the Kundalini snake and the below and the Sphinx above, keeping the secrets of the universe. And it stands for destiny, fortune, fate, outcome, culmination, the approaching of the end of a problem, good or bad luck, depending on influences of nearby cards, inevitability. The wheel suggests the course of events from beginning to end, advancement for better or worse. So, in your counseling of this person and, and during this time, um, what this is saying is that it is the wheel of destiny, that, that there was no avoiding any of this, that this is part this suffering is part of what has had to happen in order for things to progress. That's what I'm getting. So in your near future, Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups speaks of the ultimate amount of choices. The ultimate amount of opportunity. It says success, material attainment, advantage, well-being, abundance, good health, and difficulties surmounted. So this is a minor period of emotional difficulty, of monetary difficulty, of stress for you at this time, but then, and, and you are helping, helping other people, um, that is, and you are meant to help those people, and this is an amazing, um, coming out of that during this time, that you will have good health that uh, people will, um, if you're nursing someone right now, they will recover. If, if you have dealt with an illness or death in the family, this is speaking of um, things will recover. This is speaking of um, positive uh, prosperity and choice in the near future. It is speaking of um, your sadness being over, of the difficulties being surmounted, and of your health improving. This speaks of a great deal of abundance. Um, and that uh, you will have an amount of success with the Ace of Coins also. This is prosperity and abundance. So. Just deal with this emperor, this patriarchal or authoritarian or authoritarian or masculine force. Deal with that. And and these travails will be almost over for you, Pisces. Truly. Okay, can we please have a clarifier from Fairy? What is a clarifier from Fairy from Pisces? September 16th lunar eclipse. In what is a good clarifier? The 
Elven Knight. The Elven Knight. What does the Elven Knight have to say? Enchantment, Call of Fairy, Leadership. The Elven Knight summons us to heed the Call of Fairy. This is the male energy that can draw you deeper into the world of beyond our own. Much of the energy in Fairy is female, but there is a true balance of male energy there as well. The Elven Knight, the consort of the Queen, can rule equally in this land. Proud and powerful, he rides through his, this domain, leading the fairies in a procession that can take them from their world into ours and back again. The trooping of the fairies is dangerous to witness, but the lure is almost irresistible, and we wish nothing more than to follow the call of the elven knight deep into his realm. The danger is that once we have followed in the wake of the troop, we will not want or even be able to return to our own world and will instead be lost forever in the land of fairy. What does it mean if the elven knight is drawn in a reading? If the card is alone, we must be aware of what our heart is yearning for. Is it something we can have? Is it a hopeless yearning for something unattainable or something unwise for us to pursue? If the knight is drawn as a companion to other cards, then it can be interpreted as a driving force in our lives, a need to accomplish something difficult but possible. The energy of the elven knight is a powerful motivator to go forward, leading the way and taking others with us on our path. So use that masculine force. Be a leader now. During this time, Pisces, you are in your strength. You are this elven knight and leading us into your fairy realm, which you rule. And with that, I wish you Namaste, Sat Nam, and many blessings. And I hope this reading has helped you so much. And I've certainly enjoyed doing it. Um, I'm Dadam Kar, and you can reach me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you're having a wonderful fun. I'll see you soon.